March the 24th. Right then, Mr. T, what have you got for us today? Well, hello there, folks, and welcome to another Mr. T special. Spare seat next to me. He's not here. But uh, here we go. Another moment with Mike and friends. Whiskey review. Lost Distillery Company. Based in Dumfries House up in Ayrshire. They are a company that specialises in recreating lost whiskies, i.e., they're not distilling exact whiskies, but they are blending them to hopefully try and taste as they should have done back in yesteryear. Today's example is Tawie Moore Distillery. Now, Tawie Moore was based between Dufton and Keith, and it was in production for around about 31 years. It was set up by a local gent farmer called Mr. Dawson. Now, he's whiskies were, were fairly well sought after they went on the ss politician yes that famous whiskey galore ship that sank it went to the kings of spain and it also went on a, one of scott's expeditions now it was as i say it was fairly fairly relatively short-lived distillery due to the fact that the water source that it was fed from got contaminated from a local lime quarry just a couple of miles up the road uh, from what I've been told that some of the buildings are still there they're, they're now in, in use as farm buildings but uh, so today's is Tawimo I'm hopefully going to bring you the rest of the five as a little expedition into what whiskies were now these whiskies are available from Crucial Drinks they're also available on Amazon uh, I'm not sure whether the likes of Master of Malt or the Whiskey Exchange do them. I didn't check before I come to do this, so have a look, see if you can find them. So I just got the miniatures, I wasn't wanting to splash out in big bottles to find I didn't like them. So anyway, tell you more. With these, this is natural colour, it is non-chill filled and it is bottled at 43% ABV. Now, if that's natural colour, that's a pretty excellent natural colour. That would leave me to believe possibly a sherry cask finish. Now, what's this? No, can I see what that says? But very, very small, right? Without my image intensifiers, I could not go any further. Right. On the nose, this is sat open, by the way, for a five, ten minutes. Peaches, almonds, dried fruits. Maybe a slight Benoffrey, bit Benoffrey, Benoffrey flavor or aroma to it. Not flavor because I haven't tasted it yet. Damn fire, Mr. T. Been up since half past two for work, sir. So. And I'm up at half two tomorrow, so this is just a little taste. It's fairly sweet on the nose, but not overly sweet. So we'll go for a tasting slange. Again, you're getting those dried fruit, you're getting a little bit of almond in there. Possibly orangey, could be an orange marmalade. I'm trying to think, there's something sitting there. A little bit of spice, a little bit maybe cinnamon. A 
And as we say so much on these shows, everybody's taste, everybody's smell is totally different. There's no right or wrong tasting notes to these. This is what I'm getting. Somebody else who's maybe less professional as me, i.e. Maltman Mike, he, uh, he may get something totally different. Definitely no licking of uh, oak cabinets in there. But yeah. Now I've tasted and I've smelt again. You're getting that slight... Yeah, I'm getting that sherry aroma to it. So, I mean, that kind of a classic throughout the Speyside region. You know, you've got your Farclesses, you've got very good Glen Murrays out there. You've got excellent... Glendronics, Ben Rakes, I mean, you know, they all do good shaded whiskey. So, this is, although it's a, a blended malt scotch, scotch whiskey, it's rather tasty, rather enjoyable. You never know, I might be getting a big ball. No trains past my house, but we do get buses just in case you pick that up in the mic. That's the number 76. Now, finish. You've still got that spice in your mouth. And it does hang there for, for quite a bit. It's nice and creamy. A slight tannin to it, so it does dry you out a little bit. Should we try with a bit of water? No. As I say, 43%. I'm not going to add too much because we don't want to kill this. Just a couple of drops there. Let's see if it makes any difference. Mmm. That opens it up slightly more. Definitely getting the richness of the fruit, the dried fruits, almost as we at the Maltman Mike and Friends show say slightly liquidy Christmas cakey yeah we're only third month in the year and I've mentioned Christmas yeah right clouty dumpling mmm clouty dumpling right what to the taste chocolate, almond, orange marmalade, a little bit of vanilla, cinnamon, I'm trying to think what else there is there, there's something underlying, and the tannins are there, again, you know something, it's quite enjoyable that. I've had worse whiskies out of a miniature. In fact, I've had a lot worse whiskies out of a miniature. If you've tried this, by the way, then feel free to just down there leave a comment, leave your thoughts, and uh, if you do like it, give us a big thumbs up and don't forget, click the bell subscribe to our videos uh, you'll get the updates as soon as they're, they're played it's a little bit herbaceous if I would say that that's a bit, kind of big word for me herbaceous definite chocolate definite Christmassy cake in there definite almonds peaches rather nice so we don't do food pairings on these shows but i know something that would go excellent with that a 
It's got apple on it. I wonder what it could be. Now, my local butcher makes these, and I'm not supposed to eat these. I can't have gluten. But, especially for one of our team, for the Viking. Boggy, boggy, boggy! To your good health. Mmm. Damn, that's fine pie. Let's see what it goes like with this. Mm. That was nice in its own. That was nice in its own. Not so nice mixed together. Never the twin shall meet again. Well, possibly. You never know. I'm going to finish it. But anyway, there we go. As you say, drop your comments below. Click the bell, subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. And come back for more at the Moment Mike and Friends show. Mr. T signing out. That with a porky. Sounds real good at that now. I want to go. What a lot of shit. Please click subscribe, it really helps us when you do that. And click the bell so you never miss a new Triple M and Friends video.